Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today we're meeting the shortest cats in the world. Look, look. <gasps> We've met the wolf cat. Now Animal Watch brings you the dwarf cat, otherwise known as the rug hugger. The rug hugger's legs are so short that it looks as though he is lying down as he scuttles across the floor. Today we visit the UK creator of these very rare Persian rug huggers, the only fluffy eternal kitten cats in the UK. We will see if they can do everything that a normal leg length cat does and what it's like to own one. Don't go away. Meet the rug hugger, described as the eternal kitten. Rug huggers have tiny two to three inch legs, which makes them the shortest cats in the world. A rug hugger is a designer cat developed by breeding a Persian to a munchkin cat in order to create a short legged version of a Persian. The original idea was conceived by an American breeder called Joseph Smith, but due to there not being any available in the UK, British breeder Helen Robertson and also celebrity singer of Let It Shine in 1984 Song for Europe decided to create her own British version. Now many questions arise from this including the obvious ones. Are they healthy? And why create a cat with short legs? Can they do all the things a long-legged cat can do? Well that's what we are about to find out today as I'm visiting Helen in Essex who is about to introduce me to the world's shortest cats. Today is really exciting because we're always filming dogs on Animal Watch. So I thought we need to start filming some cats. But as you know, we always like to find the most unusual cats in the world. And today we have one of the most unusual cat breeds you will ever meet. Come and find out. Come on. Hi, Annika. Hello. Welcome to Rug Huggers. Rug Huggers. Oh my goodness me. And why Rug Huggers? These are the shortest cats in the world. The shortest cats? Can yeah. I, who's They're this? They're possibly the, sh the smallest cats as well. This is a kitten, an eight week old kitten. She has oh short legs. God, look at this. The shortest cats in the world. And they they've are. got tiny little legs. Yeah, these ones have. Oh, she's adorable. She's absolutely minuscule. Oh, and so calm. They so are. Calm, That's the right? Persian in them, yeah. Oh, you are beautiful. And I'm guessing you've got some adults too. I've got a few you? more to show you. Come and see. Yeah, well, I'd love to go and meet all of them. How exciting. Come on. <laughs> Literally called rug huggers because they hug. Hug the rugs. Hug the rugs. They look like they're crouching, but they're actually not. That is their leg length. It's just a short femur. There's nothing else different apart from a short femur on the front. That one's a proper little purr pot. <laughs> that one purrs all the time. The cats were gorgeous and definitely Velcro cats. It was so unusual as you could never quite know if they were standing up or lying down. You can see where the name Rug Hugger came from. The other funny thing I noticed was they definitely smelt dog on me as they weren't as keen on me as people who keep cats. And she goes, you like dogs, you don't like cats. Flashback to the time the cheetah tried to ambush me in a previous episode. But being a dog person and very uneducated about this cat breed, I decided to sit down with Helen to find out everything about them. So this is a first on Animal Watch. We have got the shortest cats in the world. They're called rug huggers because they hug your rug when they walk and they've got teeny tiny little legs. What attracted you to having cats with really tiny legs? 
I just fell in love with them. I, I was on, I was surfing the internet one day and I've always had Persians, always loved Persians. And I saw these pictures came up on a, an American website. They were called Dull Face Persians, I think. And I looked on there and they had these, they had all sorts of different Persians, but they had these ones that they called rug huggers. And there was pictures of them just begging like a little meerkat. And I just fell in love and I thought, oh my God, I've got to have one of these but searched the whole of the UK. I couldn't find any breeders. There was nobody here. Can you give me a little bit of their origins? An American guy took a munchkin and bred it to a Persian, and that's where the rug hugger was originated from. And obviously what I've tried to do is to breed more Persian into them. So they look more like short leg Persians. You've actually created them from scratch because you couldn't get any over from America. What cats did you use? I already had a Persian boy that he was absolutely beautiful, had quite a flat face. So he was ideal to put to for my first munchkin girl. Her name was Lumi and she was a long haired white and she produced this uh, Mimsy here. It took me three years to find a long haired munchkin in this country, just a normal faced cat, but she was perfect to go with my Persian boy because he was very flat faced. And that's when we created the doll face, the big eyes, small nose, but not too flat. Yeah, so you um, want the Persian look the with Persian. the tiny legs With of the, the tiny munchkin. legs, yeah. And the interesting thing you were saying is not all of them come out with short legs. No, there are a lot of people that still want the normal leg type kitten, so it's just personal preference. Not everyone likes the short legs, but I, I just think they're adorable. They are so relaxed. You've got the Persian, which is the laid back, soppy ragdoll type thing, um, and the munchkin in them is slightly more feisty, more slightly street more cat, a bit, bit more street wise. But you say you get the different personalities. This one is particularly laid back. She'll just sit and fall asleep. But this one's a little bit more playful. They have the shortest legs out of any cat. Yep in the world. Yeah. What are they like when they move and jump? They can move and do everything that a normal cat can do. They climb, they will climb See, up a tree. See, there you go, that's a good will, example there. Yeah, <laughs> they, will, they will climb up a tree, uh, especially Mimsy. She, if I let her in the garden, she'll be straight up and into next door. So anyone that thinks they can't climb, no, they can. But most of my other ones will go out in the garden, they won't climb, but then my Persians never did. So Persians aren't particularly they're not climbers anyway. There's nothing they can't do. Anyone that's concerned about their health, I've been yeah. breeding these for 10 years and never ever had a problem. Yeah. The interesting thing about them is their front legs are shorter than their yeah. back legs. They do look like ferrets, don't they? Yeah, they do they look like ferrets. Wiggle yeah. around like ferrets. And another thing is they look like a, a cat that's lying down or maybe, you know, a cat that's lost its legs. <laughs> yeah, they look like they're yeah, crouching, they but like they're, they're not. They've just got short legs and say, all it is is the femur is, is short. Why is the front leg shorter than the back? It's just is, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, it's very unusual. I mean, the back legs are shorter than a normal Persian, but as I say, there's, there's absolutely nothing they can't do. They're not disabled in any way whatsoever. How much do they weigh roughly, the adults? About five, six pounds. Five or six pounds is incredibly light. Would you say if, if somebody wanted one of these cats, they'd be indoor cats? Oh, 100%, you couldn't let these out. I mean, one, you've got the likelihood of them being stolen. And, and two, you're gonna risk that they could get run over because they are pretty docile and laid yeah, back. Yeah, so they got Someone will pick them up and steal them or no. Do you, you know what? Yeah, because it was so easy to pick your cats up when I first came yeah. in. And I'm thinking, yeah, anyone could just like grab it. Yeah, so it's just not they, worth it. And, and oh, there's so many cars on the road as well now. Cats like to have their own climbing area and things. Oh yeah, 100%. I always say to somebody, you must get a cat climber yeah, you know, yeah, to keep yeah. them occupied because they love to be on different levels. Yeah. Now, I'm not a cat person, I'll admit. I'm used to being surrounded by wolf-sized dogs. So today was such a different scene for me, but lots of fun and educational. It seems that the cats do very well despite their short legs and climb, run and play the same as long-legged cats. Their life expectancy was equal to a normal-sized cat and the Persian influence has created a very laid-back Velcro personality. I can see their appeal, so I wish Helen all the best in her ventures. Oh, and pop by here if you want to hear her sing at voicemanagement.co.uk. If anybody wants to find out more about your cats, have you got a website? Yes, I certainly have. It's www.rughuggers.co.uk. And are you on social media at all? I am on TikTok under Rug Huggers and Instagram. I don't do much on Facebook. Oh, but, well, there you but go. Yeah. But TikTok but yeah, TikTok, you've got lots I love of fun TikTok. videos on there. Yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got lots. Of, I'll put lots of kitten yeah. videos on there. Yeah. And, uh, 
Well, this is the second breed we've ever um, filmed on Animal Watch. Wow. So the first one was We're the wolf honored. cat. And now we've got little rug huggers with their little teeny tiny legs. And if you enjoyed this episode of Animal Watch, then be sure to give us a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom hand corner. And we'll be bringing you every week more videos on, we normally say dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. This week we're going to say cats. So put your suggestions in the box below and tell me what other cat breeds you'd like us to go and meet and film. Oh my yeah. goodness me! I'm so not used to these. <laughs> anyway, bye for now. See you later. If you'd like to watch Helen's cats on YouTube, you can find her channel here at Rug Huggers. <laughs> <laughs>